हेलो एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ डॉट कॉम आई एम डॉक्टर प्रीत पाल कौर बॉटनी डिपार्टमेंट बियानी गर्ल्स कॉलेज टूडे माई टॉपिक इज अबाउट द सेल द सेल इज द स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ देर इज ए हायरकल सिस्टम प्रेजेंट इन अ बॉडी सेल्स फ्रॉम द टिश्यू एंड देन टिश्यू फ्रॉम द टिश्यू सिस्टम बाई विच अ बॉडी वर्क सो सेल इज द बेसिक पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ The scientist who discovered the cell for the first time was the Robert Hooke. Actually, he discovered that he saw the cells in a cork pieces. It was in 1665. After that, discoveries were made, and so many amendments were made. Then the, came the cell theory. The scientist Shielden and Schwann in 1839 they made a remarkable statement about the cell. They said that all the living cells, all the living things, are made up of cells. then a scientist came in 1855 that is rudolf virchow he made a next amendment he said that all the cells uh, that come from the pre existing cells by the cell division then so many statements were said and today we have the modern cell theory according to the modern cell theory all the cells are made from the pre existing cells all the living things are made up of cells and all the cells have genetic or hereditary material that is maybe dna or rna which is passed from one cell to another cell and the last point is all the cells have the same chemical composition like if they have cellulose 90% then the another cell will have the same percentage of cellulose pectin or hemicellulose so these this was the modern cell theory according to the structure of the cells the cells is categorized in the two categories the first one is the prokaryotic cell and another one is the eukaryotic cell the basic difference between the both of cell is that if we first start from the plasma membrane in prokaryotic cell plasma membrane is present as well as in the eukaryotic cell the major difference lies that in the prokaryotes plasma membrane contain the respiratory enzymes on the other hand in the eukaryotes respiratory enzymes are present in the mitochondria second one is that in prokaryotes all the unit membrane bound organelles like mitochondria golgi body endoplasmic reticulum lysosome proxisomes these all are absent in the prokaryotes while on the other hand in eukaryotes these all uh, cell organelles are present third point we talk about the protein synthesis machinery both cells synthesize the protein they have their own protein synthesis machinery in prokaryotic cell these are the ribosomes which have sedimentary uh, coefficient that is 70 on the other hand in eukaryotic cell the ribosomes are of ats type then the major difference lies in the terms of nucleus in prokaryotes the nucleus is a very primitive kind of that's why we call them prokaryotic cell the nucleus in the prokaryotes is called as a nucleoid because it lack nuclear membrane as well as it lack histone protein which bind the dna so the dna in the prokaryotes in the circular form on the other hand in eukaryotes there is a well distinguished nucleus is present with nuclear membrane histone protein is also present in the dna which bind it and which give it a distinguished form and uh, in the prokaryotes there is another extra chromosomal dna present which is called as a plasmid it is a very small from as compared to the other circular dna and it gives so many characteristic features like antibiotic resistant etc and it is randomly used in genetic engineering while in eukaryotes plasmid is absent so that was about the cell uh, i thank you all of you on the thank you thank you and thank